Cleaning up the mess in the Ganga Basin is crucial for the overall sustainability of development in the North Indian Plains. Despite the enormous amounts of financial resources spent on cleaning it, the river continues to run polluted. Ganga, in many ways, personifies India, as I see it. It's, it. it's a river which is our soul. To us, it should really pain us uh, that what have we done to our river today? What have we done to Ganga? What have we done to all our rivers today? While conventional sewage treatment facilities are inadequate to cater the need, there is, on the other hand, limited experience of developing and managing septage or fecal sludge. While many urban local bodies are dependent on on-site sanitation facilities, their construction, cleaning, safe disposal and overall management remains unorganized and haphazard. This is where Centre for Science and Environment's Capacity Building Initiative comes in. The centre emphasises on the current state of the river and aims to re-establish the connection between water and society by capacitating urban local bodies to make their own city sanitation plan with a focus on effective fecal sludge and septage management. According to the Ministry of Urban Development, Government of India, a city sanitation plan is a planning tool at the local level to provide a strategic framework for achieving the goals of the National Urban Sanitation Policy and to formulate a citywide sanitation vision. The City Sanitation Plan, or CSP, is a comprehensive document which details out the short, medium, and long-term plan for the issues related to governance, technical, financial, capacity building, awareness, and pro-poor interventions to ensure 100% access to safe sanitation. City sanitation plans are supposed to be prepared by every city in the country under the National Urban Sanitation Policies provisions. Uh, there have been policies made in the past. However, many of these policies were done by consultants and uh, there was a total disconnect between the uh, you know, society, the technology and the uh, economic costs uh, which were indicated in that. And also the stakeholders were not, not involved in that process. As a result, what happened was that uh, not many CSPs are being followed in practice. CSE's initiative supported by the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, aims at providing research-based solutions to problems that the Ganga Basin faces today. It also entails establishing a state-of-the-art monitoring laboratory besides supporting the implementation of demonstration projects. Till now, the cities have been thinking only about taking care of those houses which are connected to sewer network. The FSM is a concept where we tell the cities that it's not only your, it is your responsibility also to look at the houses which are not covered through sewage. Most of the engineers, administrators who are working at the city level are primarily trained to think about the previous way. That is, that their responsibility is only to look at the houses which are connected to the sewer network. Therefore, there is actually there is no capacity. The centre is conducting a five-stage hand-holding training process for these select urban local bodies, where the main aim of these trainings is to sensitise and provide skills to city officials with regards to preparing a city sanitation plan. This involves working with city officials and identifying problem areas, conducting a gap analysis and formulating strategies for an effective action plan. Apart from this, the centre has also included national and international exposure visits to give city officials the opportunity to observe and learn from best management practices around the world on fecal sludge management. The centre has chosen the following cities in the Ganga Basin for this hand-holding process. Chunar, Ramnagar, Ganga Ghat and Bijnor in Uttar Pradesh, Baksar, Muzaffarpur, Bodhgaya and Katihar in Bihar, and Bansveri and Bongao in West Bengal. The first step in making the cities 100% sanitized is to elevate the consciousness about the sanitation in the mind of municipal agencies, government agencies and most importantly amongst the people of the city. CSE is mainstreaming citywide sanitation by focusing on the capacity building of key state and non-state actors. 
The center has facilitated the formation of a city sanitation task force, which is composed of a diverse range of stakeholders from the sanitation field in each respective city. There has been a total disconnect between the society, economy and technology. Uh, we are trying to uh, connect these three dots and uh, link it to the issues of river pollution and uh, you know, public health and overall improving the uh, sanitation uh, in the Ganga Basin, linking it to the overall campaign of uh, Clean India, uh, Swachh Bharat. The objective of forming the City Sanitation Task Force, or CSTF, is to have a multi-stakeholder institution at city level to achieve the goals of the National Urban Sanitation Policy and to mobilize joint actions from different public and non-government agencies. Through the CSTF, it should be ensured that the process of CSP preparation and implementation is of high quality, takes into account all relevant perspective and focuses on outputs. Till date, all 10 select cities have formed their CSTF and have been holding productive meetings. Center for Science and Environment's initiative has been designed as a kickstart two-year phase for an overall five-year plan. Phase 1 will lay out the foundation for the interventions, initiate city-level engagement and plan for citywide sanitation. The Ganga Basin is crucial to the new India and a well-executed wastewater management in the basin will be an example for the rest of the country to follow. Nirmal or Aviral. Nirmal because it is clean, Aviral because it is flowing. That's our objective, that's our purpose.